action. There was Austria, two for USA, two for Russia, and South Korea in action. John Leonard, he led after the first run, 81.6 points, and he uh, really dominated the competition after that 81.6, 86.4 points. His uh, winning score first started the skating moguls. He was 10th in the slope style earlier this week, and it was a super performance from John Leonard, studies at the uh, University of Oregon. Fourth medal in the freestyle skiing for Team USA. There was uh, another American in the top six, uh, Broby Leeds, who studies at the Westminster College in Salt Lake City, to uh, be happy with fifth, but it was a, a gold for John Leonard and the Americans. Good day for Kwang Jing Kim, South Korea. 71.6 points was uh, good enough to get silver. He also got 62.6 on the day. He was second after the first run. 25th at last year's uh, Olympic Games in Sochi. He's the South Korean national champion in the half pipe. And another medal for uh, Kwang Jin Kim. Studies at uh, Dan Cook University. He's going to take a silver medal home for South Korea with this performance. Now Pavel Trupa of Russia just denied a silver. His two scores, 67.8 and 70 points. He was 14th at the last World Ski Championships in Austria. Studies at Moscow State Academy of Physical Education. He beat out uh, another Russian, Petr Kordyuk, who studies at the Siberian Federal University. Kordyuk finishing fourth. Chupa getting the bronze. And uh, yet another medal for Russia, who are dominating these uh, Winter Universiad. <laughs> Chopper with the bronze then, there you have it, an exciting day at the half-pipe event at these Winter Universiad. USA getting the gold, South Korea and Russia completing the podium. When education meets sport and culture, what best promotes excellence in mind and body? Where do friendship, integrity, and achievement meet? Which event gathers the best student athletes from around the world? The Universiade, the home of international university sports. Today's stars, tomorrow's leaders.